What's up gamers? Nico here, and I'm back with another visual novel. This time it is A Suburb with the Shiba Inu by Cool Game Studios and Red Laika Games. I have no idea what this is about other than dogs. Uh, only dogs, according to this picture here, there are no people. So this is going to be my first impressions and um, well, let's get into it and see what Don got me into. He's got a sweater. He looks snazzy. His name's Sid. Say, Max, you really can't tell me where you're going to take us? Oh, he's going to button up. Nope, I can't tell you. It's a secret. This is my old friend Max, who I haven't seen in years. Yesterday he said he would take me to lunch and show me around the city. We're currently in the central zone of... Taipa. That's cute. The capital city of Shiba Island. A lot has changed since I moved away. Max moved here several years after I did, so I'm a little embarrassed that he's the one showing me around like I am a tourist. Tai Pa is as bustling as ever, with the central zone being one of its busiest areas and no one is around them except that weird dog staring at us from in between Max's legs. As Max guides us towards our unknown destination, dogs mill around the street. Where? Where are these dogs milling around the street? Oh, there's one. It's so busy on the street that it's hard to avoid pushing against other dogs as we walk. Huge digital signs shine brightly even in broad daylight. Still just one to- Oh look there's another particular bow tie! Cute coffee shops, each with its own unique decor, catch my eye as well. One has lush vines creeping all over the storefront, leaving only a gap for the entrance. Through the gap in the vines, I catch a glimpse of what looks more like plant life and thick tree stumps that serve as tables. Hey, that place seems really cool. Let's check it out sometime. Max pauses to take a look. As I point at it, he cranes his neck to look inside with his eyebrow raised like he's saying, say what? I've noticed it before too, on the way to work. I'd be happy to try it out. A short walk later, in a circle, cause we're back at where we started. After several turns, we stop in front of a building. The building is made of red brick with some steps leading up to it. Ta-da! I know it doesn't look like much out here, but the virtual tour looked great on Bark. So, like, Yelp? Max approaches the door, but it doesn't open. He starts. Catching himself before he runs face first into the door, he nudges the door with his shoulder. It doesn't budge. The door is broken. Oh. No idea. It seems like an eclectic place. That's the reason I chose it. Maybe there's some secret password we need to enter. Nope. Can you look it up? Already on it. Max goes up his wrist phone men Excuse me? He has a he has a wristwatch? Making some gestures in the and he's making gestures in the air. We need to figure this out. Some reviews allude to something interesting we need to do to enter, but they don't say outright what it is. What's the place called? It's just one letter. Q. Oh how hipster. Maybe it's closed today. I checked it out, and it shouldn't be, and if they couldn't update their real-time schedule for some reason, that's really weird. Ooh, he's sliding into his DMs, why are you so close? Wait, what's that? Isn't that a doorknob? Oh, for real? What? A doorknob? You mean, wait, I remember something, are you serious? Oh, come on, it hasn't been that long. Apparently it has. Why do I feel old because of the fact that I have seen doorknobs before? Oh, he sits. I sit down before the protruding sphere and grip it with both of my paws, I'm able to turn it without losing my balance. Oh my, are we talking about the doorknob? The door swings inward to reveal a staircase. For real? Good thing knobs are phased out though. Whoever invented these things clearly did not understand the anatomy of dogs. And it's precisely why many houses use them for rooms that puppies aren't allowed into. My parents used it for the pantry. Huh. Ooh, his face. I remember trying to bite the doorknob to the promised land of treats, but ended up with only a particularly sore jaw instead. Jesus. Well, there we go. Aha, I haven't seen these things since the what? A arena? A arena days? Ooh, he said. Our eyes meet and he looks away. Ooh. Anyway, we're here. Oh, this is nice. Real cozy. Stairs lead to an area with wooden floor paneling. There are rooms that have a raised base separated from the main area with sliding panels. The panels have some membrane-like material that is thin enough to let light through, but thick enough that we can't see into the rooms. 
Oh, he's got a silk shirt. A dog comes up with us in red traditional dress. It's fashioned with several large layers with a gold, large gold button holding up neatly over the dog's shoulder. Welcome. Hi, I called earlier and made a reservation. He talks with the server and we, l we are led to one of the rooms. Oh, he's laying down, sort of supermanning into the room there. I hoist myself up on the ledge and make myself comfortable on one of the cushions around a low wooden table in the center of the room. The server gives us menus and leaves after a courteous bow. Take your time, I'm guessing you haven't had food like this since you left. Oh yeah, woof, I've forgotten about all these. What are anything like? My treat. Ooh, hi Rolla. There are a lot of options. I flip through the tea menu. This place serves them with ancient methods, with multi-part clay apparatus that I had never remembered the names of. It invokes the image of my parents pouring boiling water, steaming shrouding, steam shrouding their con concentrated faces. That's some serious tea. There are a lot of rules about how, to st how long to steep tea and the order of pouring water in and out. I never really paid attention when I was a puppy, and after my parents' generation, it seemed like a lost art. If this place shows us the tea steeping process, I definitely will let a second chance to learn about it pass by. Isn't it interesting that they still use these books as menus? I remember they were pretty much phased out along with... Doorknobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's one of the things. Well, this place is known online for the retro atmosphere, which is why they only take phone reservations. No usual order screens, either. It's really interesting how fast things have changed on the island. Though, maybe that's just my perception, because first of all, I don't know what's supposed to be normal nowadays. What's it like where you were living? They are kind of at a stage like when I left here, actually. You saw my phone. They have similar levels of technology in Canada! Canada! Though obviously, my Shiba Island phone doesn't work there, but I kept it in good condition just in case I'd come back, you know? Ha, you have a lot to see here then. Next time I'll take you out to a re uh, regular restaurant and you'll get to see how fast everything is. How fast everything is? Oh, he's back. The server returns and we order some awoo. <sighs> awoo. Awoo long tea to share. I order some egg crepe rolls and ham with ham and corn and Max gets the century egg and pork congee. The latter is actually really good, but the century egg could be an acquired taste. Good thing the congee kind of levels out the strong flavor. But, you know. As we wait, I ask Max about some technological changes. He shows me how to set up custom gestures on my new wrist phone, but I still treat it with caution. Call it habit, but I am hesitant to be gesturing in the air on such a large holographic interface. It serves my purpose to use the old touchscreens on a small phone. The hologram just seems like overkill. Yeah, how, how are these... How are they able to... To... Uh, to, to, like, use the phone, what? Not to mention the companies that make these phones must be tracking so much information. They know what we read, who we call, where we are, what we buy, how to use precise technical instruments on, on a micro level. Are these dogs that are making these things? Somewhere, some team of data Shiba, there it is, are making predictive models and segmentation analysis on this data. Excuse me? Oh, sorry, I spaced out. You did. Were you saying something? Ha, uh, getting confused by all this new tech? Yeah, yeah he is. Maybe a little, a lot -le. No, don't worry, it's a lot of information to take in. Here, try sending something to me like this. Oh, a Sid Dodge. App is Babor- <laughs> Babork Talk, test. Come on, you couldn't have texted something else? Pretend it's an actual conversation. How are they actually getting these letters on the screen? You're in the same room. Some sad face cry. <laughs> hey, let's take a selfie. No. No. Oh. As Max shows me how to install new software and customize my interface, we hear the server slowly slide open the screen door, giving us enough time to swipe away our hologram phone screens. Two servers into this time, carrying a tea-making set. The set consists of a large hollow bottom panel with holes to let out steam of hot water. They begin the process of lining up various teas on the top of the panel, stand. The dogs carefully place tea leaves in the pot with what? Tongs? They aren't using any measuring instruments, but the practiced way they gather and sprinkle the leaves shows impressive muscle memory. Yeah, and the ability to use things without any thumbs. With one fluid motion, they pour steaming water in each of the cups. Those look like very human apparatuses on that table. How are they? How? 
As the tea is steeping, our food arrives. I take a moment to simply look fondly at the egg crepe rolls. The way the steam rises from under the soft crepe skin, the smell of ham misting out towards me. It really has been so long. It's so weird that I used to eat this almost every day, and now it's been years. I feel like I've gone back in time. Egg crepes are a simple dish usually made in under two minutes by the breakfast stalls I used to frequent on the island. First, an egg is cracked and dropped onto the surface of a sizzling metal plate. The cook then uses a metal spatula to smooth out the egg so that it is a thin liquid layer. When the dog, when the egg has cooked around halfway, a thin crepe is laid on top of it and flipped so that the egg layer is on top. The crepe is sizzling on the bottom. Then on top, the cook adds another ingredient of choice such as ham or corn. Once fully cooked, the entire crepe is quickly rolled up, cut into bite-sized portions with a large spatula. Why is all of this necessary? Using the flat surface of the same spatula, the portions are then scooped up and swiftly placed into a takeout box. Really? Was all this? Did I need to know how this was made? Hope you enjoy. You can try some of my kanji if you want. I was feeling something light. Is he gonna explain how the kanji's made? During this time, the tea is ready as well. As I blow on the surface, my cup creating ripples. My first sip is hesitant as I try to adjust to the temperature. After a few sips, I can feel the strong tea aftertaste on my tongue. Ah, this is bliss. We chat more as we eat, and I ask him about how the culinary norms have changed on the island. Apparently most of the dishes I remember are still around. The largest change in cuisine is caused by the advancement in f how food is produced? Max explains how nowadays a lot of ingredients can be produced synthetically, which reduces scarcity and seasonality. Okay. It is widely accepted that they are the same flavor and contain the same nutrients as naturally grown ingredients. What? How are dogs able to do things that humans can't do? I used to wonder how, why we have beef dishes on the island, but we've never seen an animal called a cow. Oh no. I guess these synthetic flavors already existed 10 years ago since beef has been around since before I was born. I just didn't know they were, didn't, didn't know they were synthetic. Oh. I learned from Max that lately there's been a rise in restaurants that offer wilder experimental foods with completely new synthetic inventions. <sighs> Max shows me some pictures on his phone and we decide on a restaurant to try it next. He warns me that some of the flavors might really surprise me. Even dogs that try these things now and then have trouble getting used to some of the most outrageous invented flavors, such as, give me examples. I asked him to describe something he's tried before, but it was hard for him to convey it in terms of foods I know. For example, one tasted like cinnamon and cabbage flavor mixed, but that doesn't really describe it fully. Excuse me? I can only understand when I have the chance to try it, I suppose. Ugh. We finish our food and reminisce a little more. However, there's one thing in our shared history we don't bring up. This one time at band camp? I get an uneasy feeling that I should wait a little longer for me to ease back into the culture of the island first. Max pays and we exit the restaurant. I'm quite full and nostalgic. Slide to the left. Alright, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and give my thoughts so far. First impressions, this is a very technologically advanced world here. Obviously, these dogs have made such advancements, it's beyond our comprehension. Um, so far, I'm, I'm curious. I want to know what happens next. I want to know what Sid and Max do on their adventures. And yeah, I want to see if he wears other snazzy sweaters. But um, I do wish that during that whole weird spiel about the egg and the crepe, if, if they showed images of it, that would have been, you know, better um, versus just a word, word vomit of, of a bunch of text, it would have made, you know, it would have made it a little better if you could see what he's talking about. Um, otherwise, it, it, the story is hard to tell what it's about. It's starting off like two friends. But, um, you'll see my review. Um, I'll post it up here in the next couple days. And, uh, you'll see what I really think after I've had time to, uh, get down into the nitty-gritty of Sid and Max's friendship here and we'll go from there this has been my first impressions of a summer with the Shiba Inu by Cool Game Studios and Rodalaka Games and gamers I have I'm Nico and this has been Need to Know stay in the know gamers